Lifestyle fitness. Bitches. <laughs> Oh, it's live. Oh, it's live. What is up, YouTube? It's Paul Hauser, Lifestyle Fitness, as mentioned before, here for you guys with a push workout on day 50 of Project Mass, if you guys are following. And I would really like to acknowledge this right here. This is definitely a PR for me, many of you guys know. Um, got four set of five, which is a big, big achievement for me. Many of you guys know my shoulder issues. It really limits me to uh, doing what I can, but um, hitting four sets of five and 100 pound dumbbells, very happy with. I just wanted to acknowledge this kid in the background on the green too, sending his uh, stamp of approval here, wait for it. Just killing it, my buddy here with the 120s, just really fast in this last eccentric, really focusing on the negative. Watch, look at this kid. Oh, he said, you're good, man. Just getting a different angle here for you guys, but pretty much killing it, starting off fresh with these. Um, definitely seeing improvements with this program. Uh, the upped calories, overall just feeling great about it. Um, getting a little shaky, still no shoulder pain as opposed to about three weeks ago, feeling really good. And just having some really good workouts lately, especially on this push day. Uh, we actually only hit two shoulder movements. So we hit the four sets of bench press right here, and then on the last set we did a drop set, as you guys can see right here, really focusing on the squeeze at the top um, for about 15 reps and man it, it, it really burned and then we moved over to a plate loaded incline press um, same concept scheme uh, four sets of five and once again getting that mind muscle connection right there if you guys don't ever touch your uh, workout partners titties how close really are you guys huh how, how close really a partners are you but um, really killing it uh, this might have been another PR four set of five but really focusing on the upper pec itself really felt good going about this whole motion. Um, I believe on the next set I actually only got four. I hit failure just because we switched up the camera angle. There wasn't actually a spot. Sometimes I feel a little sketched out doing this with my shoulder pain. So I almost just kind of uh, cave in and give out just so I feel 100% refreshed the next day. That's a little bit of tip for you guys. If you guys ever feel a little bit of pain or a jolt, uh, just just throw the motion down. Just you know, stop where you are. You. Um, don't want to pretty much take five steps back to take one step forward you know getting one more rep and then having yourself hurt for the next few days just don't it's not worth it guys so once again as you guys noticed there the eccentric motion really focusing on that and that was it for uh, chest then we moved right over to shoulders and we hit some side lateral dumbbell raises yeah 15 pounds we're getting all kinds of gains but really focusing on this just because we were supersetting it uh, getting a good squeeze trying to keep our elbows above our shoulders themselves um, really feeling good I really like this superset Cameron actually recommended this and if you guys look right here for the superset with the uh, front um, barbell raise you see his thumbs they are on top um, working more forearms as well just getting a good grip strength you know utilizing two workouts in one feeling all kinds of good on this too guys uh, as you can see here I'm also feeling a lot fuller on this diet um, feeling like I'm getting an adequate amount of calories in just feeling good overall weights going up um, not plateauing by any means, weights uh, in the gym are going up, so I'm feeling good about myself. And then I had to make sure he knew what was up. He had to make sure whose uh, YouTube channel this was. He's probably watching this right now, but you know, you know. It was bicep, but bam! Uh, yeah, he knows what's up. He doesn't even want to acknowledge it. But then we moved over here for a superset, as you guys can see, hitting a uh, pretty much really focus on the rear delt. We hit two different movements for that. Um, and then a quick side note right here again. Uh, you know, just surprise attack out of nowhere, the black roommate. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's got legs. He really didn't. He probably just squatted for one set. But serious, back to the workout. So we hit some uh, lateral work right here. We actually got this from MI40, um, another f close follower of Jacob Wilson. So really utilizing this, um, Cameron really lacks rear delts. He always complains about trying to develop that. So we hit this workout. It felt really good. Once again, really focusing on the rear delt. Sometimes uh, you may mix mix it up and uh, can, can get yourself confused with what you're really supposed to be hitting. Right here, um, it really started getting hard. We actually supersetted this, hit 12 reps, so back to back, and then he took over, hit three sets of this, and just really felt it. If you look right here closely, you'll see his rear delt move. As you can see right there, just a little small movement cues. 
and just overall feeling really good. Um, switching up the tempo, going from the heavy superset in the beginning to uh, more of the supersets with the shoulders. Then we over, went over here to the tricep push downs. Yeah, good job. Make sure whenever you guys do do this, if you have one in your gym, make sure to utilize it for triceps and not pecs. You can really get both. If you notice me right here, the really small range of motion, really small range, guys. Focus on the muscle, closing my eyes, making sure I kind of just squeeze my tricep and not my pecs. It's a big mind muscle connection you guys got to utilize or else you will hit pecs pretty much just hitting dips. Um, once again, we hit three sets of 12, I believe. And then really quick right here, we just actually hit on kind of like a close grip tricep. Um, it really worked actually surprisingly well. Cameron showed me this and it felt actually pretty awesome. You'll see a little bit of activation, but just make sure once again to really focus on the pec and feel it. And that was the end of this workout. It took about two hours and then we went over to get some gains at Avanti's. Stay tuned for that. Hey Cameron, what day is it? What day is it? It's the pasta gains. It's for the YouTubes. Can you please elaborate on what the pasta gains are? So every Tuesday... <laughs> This place called Avanti's. All right, so, so you're on again. Go, roll. So Avanti's every Tuesday. Yeah. They used to be endless. Anything you can eat. Dude, you already you can't elaborate again. They've already know about that. They, you just gotta tell what day it is. Who the fuck? It's endless pasta Tuesday. Okay, why'd you have to make it so difficult? large for a small? It's probably a horrible angle. This is my girlfriend, Lindsay. But but for some reason she's sitting with me. <laughs> <laughs> The all you can eat plate one. Check. Focus. You only got one plate and you need to finish it. Fucking stuff. I finished. Are you really full? Yeah. You, sir, need a bulk. So and I have build this. Oh! Because you know he did strokes today because he's got the ultimate build. Alright, alright. But showing off now. What'd you say? Um, I was going to ask something about your videos, but I don't know if I can ask on the camera. Oh, that's just awkward. <laughs> just kidding. You can't look at the camera. You gotta oh. look. Yeah, like it's like a commentary. You gotta talk. Like, talk at all your tricks. It doesn't matter. It looks like he's talking to me because you're right in my face. Like, comment, subscribe, bitches. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! Oh shit! Oh my head hurts.